Hi, I'm John Omaha. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm the creator of Affect Management Skills Training and Affect Centered Therapy. And I want to address a question that many clients ask. I teach the skills of emotion regulation to all of my clients, and they will very often ask, look, uh, uh, isn't this repressing my emotions? I thought I was supposed to express my emotions, and here you are telling me to decrease the intensity. Uh, so, and I say, yes, that's what I'm teaching you to do. Let's address the issue. Is it repressing emotions? No, it is not. Um, repress, when, when a person represses emotions, they, they don't actually feel them. They're unaware of the sensations and they're unaware that they're having the emotion. That's what repression looks like. Um, when I help a client, and I'll come back to that in a minute, but when I help a client to recognize what he or she is feeling by the sensations that accompany it, and then to decrease the level, I never decrease it to zero, because then that, that would be depression, uh, repression, and the, and the client would not have access to that emotion. A long time ago, working in a treatment center, uh, we used to say the, uh, the goal here is for you to have your emotions as opposed to your emotions having you. So many uh, people will become angry and they'll become so angry, as I said in another video, that it shuts their left side down and they can't think as well anymore. And um, so, when we so when we when I teach emotion regulation, the client is able to decrease the intensity of the emotion so it doesn't shut down the left side of the brain and he can think properly. Um, so emotion management is not repression; it's actually a healthy thing to do. Many children, unfortunately, do not learn the skills of emotion regulation in childhood. Uh, that's sad. And the only reason that is is because their parents don't know those skills because their parents didn't know them. And so we're trying to break the cycle here and uh, teach the skills of emotion regulation to clients today so that when they have children, they can teach these skills to their children. Um, again, it's not repression, it's management. I'll give you a quick example. Often in couples work, uh, I have observed that uh, husbands may be threatened by, if their wife says, look, why didn't you, why don't you come home and just say hi to me every night? Instead, you go and look at the TV and watch the Chicago Cubs game or something. I'd really like you to just say hi to me and tell me how happy you are to be home. Well, the husband hearing this feels shame uh, that he's being, he feels he's being criticized. He because, and when that happens, his, the right side of his brain lights up, becomes activated with shame affect and fear affect, and he defends with anger, and he says something angry to his wife that separates them further. So when I teach these skills of emotional regulation to my uh, married clients, the husband finds, and the wife finds too, that um, he can come home, he can actually hear her say, honey, I just wish you'd say hi to me and tell me how happy you are to be home. Uh, he can hear that if he's able to manage his shame, his fear, and his anger. And then he can respond appropriately. Hey, I totally hear you'd like me to say hi. Hi, I'll try and do that every time from now on. So these are the reasons that emotion management is not emotion repression. Thanks.